<laughs> himself is a rebel, why Barry, who could easily uh, actually be retired, um, he's not retiring. In fact, it seems like you're just really starting, <laughs> Barry. It's the sense of which I am, yes. <laughs> yeah, so here's, uh, here's Barry, uh, Barry Jackson. Uh, let's start from perhaps you telling us what, what's your story? How, what was your job before you decided to go on your mission? Well, be, uh, be, before I started uh, running my own business, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, uh, I was in uh, corporate pharmaceuticals for, uh, well, about 34 years and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, actually. My, uh, my customers back then were hospital consultants and uh, uh, hospital co consultants are great people to work with. Uh, they are the ultimate professionals. Uh, and they're, again, they're, they're people on a mission. Some of them are very eccentric. You, mm -hmm. you meet some real characters. But um, but no, I was I was in corporate sales. I was a, a key account manager. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd done all the I'd done all the corporate uh, all the corporate stuff. Mm -hmm. So would you say you enjoyed your 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 work? You would say you 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 were the lucky one to find something that yes, kept you going, I, I, kept I, you energized. I, yes, I mean I was one of these people that actually looked forward to getting up on a Monday morning and no. going to work. And I, I think I've always uh, always felt, Maggie, that if you if if you if you're not in that position, you've got to start looking for uh, you've got to start looking for something where you will be. And, and of course. The, uh, that, that's what started me looking for an opportunity to run my own business. Brilliant. So <laughs> you found yourself at a point where um, you could have, like, you told me, you know, you could easily retire, like most of your friends probably are retired, and just have a nice chilled life, you know, feed up, book, wine. Like, or maybe coffee or maybe something else, I don't know. I could do, yeah. I mean, all my pensions have kicked in, the private yeah. ones, the state ones. Yeah. I, mean, I'm, uh, I mean, anyone looking at that picture of me can tell I'm past 65. <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, most of my friends are, are, are retired. And um, But, you know, when I'm asked the question, well, Barry, when are you going to, when are you put, going to put your feet up? I just said, well, um, I'm having too I'm much fun. To, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm having too much fun doing what I'm doing now. So uh, not just yet. Uh, I'll probably die with my boots on, as they say. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So here's the important bit of the story that I love the most. So you ended up going to Sainsbury's and then I'll let you take it yeah, from there because it, yes it, how I started doing my present business was was very strange um, it, it all really started when my wife Jenny gave me a, a list as I was going out in the morning she put this list in my hand and said look on your way home can you drop in the supermarket and get the following so uh, there I was at the supermarket checkout and uh, I got into conversation with the girl who was serving me, who was a very nice girl actually, a very pleasant girl. She would have been 21, 22, something mm -hmm. like that. And um, But she told me she had a 2-1 degree. And so I asked what I thought was an obvious question, what are you, what are you doing working on a supermarket checkout with mm -hmm. a 2-1 degree? Um, and then she said to me, well, this is the best job I can get. and. I could hear the frustration, the pain in her voice. It, 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 in fact, I'm not exaggerating to say that I, I could see tears welling up in the girl's eyes. Last question. Go on. I'll try and keep the answer. Why short. you're doing? Yeah, let's try. We we don't keep anything short, do we? Um, why you're doing what you're doing? What what? What motivates you? What sparks that energy? you to keep on going and help these young people. Good heavens, we've got this far and it's not obvious. I, I, <laughs> it is, it um, totally is, but no, I want no, to I, sort of... Uh, okay, uh, it's, it's probably end a with that. It's a good one to end. No, no I mean, I, I, I suppose I would put it this way. Young people are the future of this country. Young people are the future of the world. And if we're not um, preparing them the best we possibly could for what they are going to meet when they leave the education system and we are doing them a great disservice we are uh, 
uh, we are seriously selling them short and uh, as, uh, as I think I said at the beginning from the moment I met that girl in that supermarket I was on a mission I mean this is a cause for me